Hi, my name is Raja Sivamani and I'm an integrative dermatologist. And today, I'm gonna to talk to you about three tips to get your patients off of topical steroids when they have atopic dermatitis. We know steroids are really effective and really useful, but we don't want our patients on them long term. So here are three things that you can talk to your patients about to get them off of the steroids immediately. Tip number one, soaps and cleansers. Soaps and cleansers are really great at cleaning, but unfortunately they're not so good for you when you have atopic dermatitis because they strip your skin of their natural oils, they mess up the skin's pH, and they also screw up the barrier so that they don't protect you and you can't hydrate your skin as well. So what I tell people is go ahead and use the soaps and the cleansers in the no-no areas like the armpits and you know what I'm talking about down below. But for the body and the arms and the legs, not so great. So say no to those areas. Tip number two, climate. Now, if you can't move to a nice tropical place where you have a great amount of humidity and nice water content in the air, bring that to the home. Bring the humidity to you. Get a humidifier. Humidifiers help greatly in increasing the water content in the air, and especially if you live in a dry area, or if it's winter time and you have indoor heating and you're drying out the air, this could be really important. And then, the other way you can increase humidity is a little trick that a lot of us dermatologists lo love to use. It's getting damp clothes for your kids right when they're about to go to sleep. So when I say damp, I don't mean soaking wet. I mean just lightly damp. Get them out of the washer and don't put them in the dryer. Just hang them up and let them dry, but don't dry all the way. Take these lightly damp clothes and then put them on your kids and then over the top put on a dry layer. And when you do that, guess what? You create a local environment that's just slightly damp and you've increased the humidity and it helps the skin greatly. Tip number three, moisturizers. Moisturizers are really important, but you gotta pick the right one. Some moisturizers are way too thin and they're full of emulsifiers which can hurt the skin in the long run. So pick things that are thicker like creams and ointments and talk to your patients about them. Secondly, pick the right ingredients. Pick something with glycerin that can humidify the skin and maintain moisture. And then secondly, pick things that can block the skin from losing moisture like petrolatum. And then finally, we all have conversation about natural oils. So natural oils are super important as a part of your regimen, but you gotta pick the right one. If you pick things like olive oil, they taste great, great for French bread, not so great on the skin. However, if you think about using coconut oil, sunflower oil, or safflower oil, those have all been shown to be helpful. So next time you reach for that natural oil, think about getting the right one. And those are three tips that you can use to get your patients off of topical steroids. I'm Raja Sivamani. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like more information, please visit LearnSkin.com.